Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from MarkwoodMensBreakfastClub.com. Back oh. up! Oh! No longer hacked by the Russians. All right, well, together the three of us, we're Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. That's right, we are. <laughs> Welcome back. Good morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. How well, are that's, you? I'm, well, I'm excited. I didn't yeah. realize that you got that uh, unhacked. No, it's fake news. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all clear. <laughs> so what are you? you you've got a, a, a team of, uh, what do they call them? Uh, Chinese hackers working on it. A they're they're anti-hackers. Yeah. Anti a, a troll farm. Fighting, yeah. <laughs> fighting the Russian hackers. So today, since we're going to be smoking some 1Q, I am breaking out the big guns. I've got a five-star MacArthur. You guys already saw, just to be uh, contrary to that, I'm smoking a little gun. <laughs> Such a con. This is a contrary, and you got a what is it? A, a Dillinger? This or? is the uh, the noisy cricket, I think. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, how the heck are you, boy? Mm. I'm well. Good. I'm, I'm enjoying some smoking something familiar. The last couple of weeks, this wasn't really my speed, but this is good. Of course it is. We, 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 we pulled this. This is not five year aged. Uh, better than this 1Q. This is 1Q sitting in the tub. Tub O 1Q. Five, five pounds? Show that to our new subscribers. <laughs> I just don't want to lift it. It's so heavy. <laughs> uh, it's a little terrarium because of the humidity. Is that dust? Oh, that is humidity. No, it's, it's humidity. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. So, a couple things I wanted to talk about today, if you, hey. don't, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, had a Great question from somebody. Oh, oh, you know, I came clean on something. Um, I, I commented how I was smoking in a recent video on the Aristocob channel. I was smoking. Well, I'm done with this, by the way. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> smoking McClelland Avenue Blend TQ. And that it's actually better than 1Q. What? So what, what it is, it's one of those... Um, like 1Q tobacco yeah. that is apparently many of the same flavorings of 1Q because mm -hmm. it's manufactured by the same folks mm -hmm. but it starts out life as a better quality tobacco mm. leaf and so I gotta say I like it better than 1Q now I'm not gonna buy five pounds at a time of it is it more expensive than 1Q? it is more expensive yeah. than 1Q but you know it surprised me that I really enjoy it. Yeah. So, if you want to try something different, if you like 1Q and uh, want even a more better 1Q, there you go. McClelland. I'm going to switch up. <laughs> <laughs> you going back to the 1Q? No. No, no, no. I don't have time for that. It's going to fall. That's, a, that's, a, that's yeah. a, it's going to fall. That's fine. That's a five-hour smoker. Yes, it is. Um, so, another, another comment that I got recently. Why don't we have that? Why are we smoking this garbage? It's in. It's in here. Well, Did somebody wait? What? <laughs> what are you talking. You just garbage? told me. Do you want to smoke this? That this is an it? inferior Try it. tobacco. Try it. It's in the bag. Okay. All right. Well, I need another tiny pipe now. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's another another tiny pipe. It's a short stop. Um. Somebody else sent me a message the other day saying. Is it this. Yeah, I'm interested in knowing, first off, will the homegrown Cobb Foolery seed corn, which is genuine Missouri Meerschaum seed corn, will that grow in Australia? Oh. And is there any chance it would grow in time to make a pipe for tobacco, or for uh, the Cobb Foolery contest in April 2018? The answer to will it grow in the southern hemisphere absolutely will grow in the southern hemisphere. Maybe. The problem is, should you grow it and then try to make a pipe out of it that quickly? Mm -hmm. And the answer is no. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'll be making an announcement soon about making the seeds available again for those of you who are in the southern hemisphere and to have a special six-month delayed Cobb Foolery Contest for our Southern Hemisphere cool. growers. All right, so it'll be uh, not an entire Cobb Foolery Contest. It'll be just the uh, homegrown home category, grown. and uh, we'll do that six months removed 
for those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere. I thought that was a cool idea, and thank you very much for the question about that. Yeah. And uh, hopefully it'll be as successful as McClelland Avenue Blend TQ. What else? Mmm. All right, a couple weeks ago some news came out, and I thought that we should talk about this because recently we spoke about the FDA and vaping. And we're not going to rehash that whole conversation again. But um, in that video where I opened up the e-pipe, mm -hmm. somebody asked me immediately after that in the questions, what is that e-juice that you say that you like that, mm. that kind of simulates 1Q? Right. And the answer is I was buying um, from Johnson Creek. Mm -hmm buying their Tennessee Cured, and the Tennessee Cured tobacco taste was very similar to just plain old pipe tobacco, and then to that I was adding just a drop of their chocolate, and their base, their normal base that they use has a little bit of vanilla in it, right? So okay. it's, it's almost like, you know, if you were to make icing or cake, you know, where you're starting with a, a vanilla batter right. and then adding flavoring, all of their tobaccos have, a, or uh, e-juices have just a little bit of vanilla flavor to them. And adding the chocolate to it made it really close to 1Q. Yeah. So I made that recommendation. Well, guess what? What? They've gone out of business. They announced with uh, very little fanfare that um, primarily due to FDA deeming and the draconian charges that are on them for submitting their products for testing that they're done and they shut their doors and they're gone now i did read in, in a couple forums that some folks pushed back and said no nah, it's because they were having financial trouble yeah, yeah well add to financial trouble the right. fact that they were supposed to be getting all their products registered and, and tested yeah and uh they they couldn't do it so it, th it's real. We've talked about this. We've talked about carvers that have given up. We've talked about shows that it has affected. Yeah. And now it's taken out one of my favorite suppliers. Well, they were that. huge. I mean, it, yeah, they're they one of they were one of the first when we started vaping um, eight nine years ago. Now yeah. they were one of the only only companies in town where you could get each domestic manufacturers. Yeah, I, that's true. That's true. Um, but, a lot, lot of no-name Chinese stuff was showing up, and, and these guys were producing e-juice domestically. That's incredible. Yep. It's sad. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy to see how that continues to affect small businesses. Um, the other thing is with the uh, FTC's push to uh, move away from net neutrality... And the effect that that will have on on our internet, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Oh, what effect will that have on the internet? Well, they're they're last year the FTC ruled that internet is a category two utility. So is is something like your telephone? It it can be more strictly regulated, and is um, basically a, a utility that should be um, should not be manipulated by ISPs um, and the current head of the FTC is wanting to change that. He's someone who came from Verizon and is wanting to roll those back. Um, and so what that what that would mean is things things that, that sound really good on the surface like um, T-Mobile maybe giving a promotion where um, your data usage, um, if you're using Netflix, it, it won't count towards your data usage, right? That sounds great. Because I, I like to watch Netflix, um, but that uh, them having the leeway to do that um, also gives them the leeway to say, oh, um, but YouTube's going to count double usage for your data, or um, if you want, uh, they'll say they'll say because Netflix uses so much bandwidth, you're going to have to pay to be a premium subscriber to um, access Netflix or YouTube. Um, and so really it, it allows them to net neutrality is the push to keep the internet 
um, free from that kind of manipulation from the companies that give us access to the internet. Um, without that, they could block off the websites that you're allowed to go to. They, they, we could have we could have multiple tiers of internet where some websites you can get to for free or on the basic plan, kind of like your cable right now. Um, so, you know, if you want to go to uh, YouTube, which could be considered an HBO tier, you might have to pay to add that on. Um, and so it's, you know, with the internet being something that's so ubiquitous in, in everyday life, it's necessary to really engage with community. We talked last week about YouTube community. Um, that's, a, that's a scary prospect. Wouldn't they argue, though, that, you know, my mom, who occasionally jumps onto Google, but never uses Google Maps, never uses YouTube, never uses Gmail, you know, uses Facebook occasionally, that, that she shouldn't have to pay for all that premium access? Sure, and, and that's where bandwidth comes into play, right? So what they can do is they can, they can charge you based off of bandwidth usage. We all pay um, a subscription that gives us a certain amount of bandwidth. And so basic subscription plans don't have the bandwidth to stream Netflix, right? Your mom won't need to stream Netflix, but they're not telling her she can't go there and can't try to stream it. <laughs> it would just be a... It would charge it her would sub, Right. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and we've seen this come up. This has come up a, a few times recently with some companies stepping into... A couple of large companies have shown the power they have to, to affect... Um, change positively or negatively. So, uh, in ways that it wasn't thought that they they had that power. Oh, like Casey so, Neistat being demonetized. So Casey Neistat's video being demonetized, but Jimmy Kimmel's video not being demonetized, even though YouTube's term terms they quoted their terms of service on a video where Casey Neistat was promoting um, raising support and money for the uh, victims of the Las Vegas shooting. And YouTube said, well, we took away monetization of that video because it talked about death and talked about a, it was using a crisis for profit. Right. And it wasn't advertiser friendly. Right. Meanwhile, um, Jimmy Kimmel and some other late night talk show, bigger names than Casey Neistat, uh, talked about the same thing. Their videos are having ads run on them. That's one example. Right. Of but it turns out in the end, though, that Jimmy Kimmel's team pre-sold the ads. So it wasn't, they weren't just leaving it up to YouTube to find advertisers to assign to his videos. They went and they got Ford or whoever it was to commit to doing the ads. All right, but that's, that's, a, that's an instance where there's poor communication on YouTube's part. Yes, yeah, because you YouTube never, well, right. and YouTube never said that. Never said that was the case. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beyond that, uh, we've seen ISPs, we've seen, um, uh, not ISPs, but hosting sites, GoDaddy and a couple others taking down um, some of the white supremacist websites, which, you know, it, at face value, that's probably good, right? Um, but the, the reality is that we put our trust and our faith in, in a, a small handful of companies, and if they have taken down this, then they're deciding what content is or isn't, isn't um, shouldn't be shared, and so if that's content, it's very, very little different from the FDA deciding that tobacco should or shouldn't be be shared. Um, you know, another another instance of that Tesla. Um, you can when you buy a Tesla, you can buy uh, either a you, you can buy it with the battery percentage, right? So they put in really big batteries, and if you want to pay for the premium service to have access to the full battery, you can, or you can get access to less of the battery. But it's there. Right? But it's there. Mm -hmm. And so during the, the hurricane evacuations in Florida, they expanded the batteries. At any point in time, you could you could um, choose to upgrade your battery usage, right? which is kind of cool when you think about it. I mean, who, is it? Well, I mean, whose car is upgradable like that? That's that's kind of a, a cool thing yeah, to but, be but who's, able to just make a phone call. Yeah, but whose car do they put a governor on and throttle back? That's exactly that's exactly the point. The point. So they, they decided... Hey, people need to evacuate. So they gave drivers in Florida and the region to, to evacuate an extra hundred miles of distance that they could get before they needed to charge the battery, right? And so 
they're they're being praised as that's that's great that's amazing that that saved lives right and it, it's true but wow they have this power to do this could they shut the the whole thing down what can they, and, can can, uh, can Kindle take the book off of my device that's right because and, they shouldn't have sold it to me but they did and now that it's mine they can take it it's away. not yours it's right because it's any, not any, mine any digital content that you have purchased you don't own it you own a license to it software that you buy you don't own it you own a license to it and the license can be revoked so those lines are becoming more and more frequently crossed and blurred and you know who gets to make those decisions about what is and isn't okay and so with the FDA, the FDA is just one so far ahead on yeah, this one i know and so the, the fda is just one example of of this that we we see um Sorry for for the rant, but uh, but it's it's no no this is this is real and that's you know part of the reason why I, I primed this pump. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we just sort of take for granted, and we just assume that when we flip the light switch, the power's going to yeah. be there, the lights are going to come on. I paid the bill, shouldn't the lights be? You have on? that agreement, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know, um, in in time of war. Our government and defense has, has, you know, in my dad's youth, you know, they had uh, rationing of things like gasoline and of certain foodstuffs because it was needed in the war effort. And, uh, you know, it was all about patriotism, patriotism, but in the end, you didn't have a choice. Right. You know, you, you got so many little mm. uh, stamps that you could use to get gas. You know that my, my grandpa, because of his uh, cabinet shop and his business and the fact that he was employing people through that period, he got additional rationing stamps hmm. and, uh, you know, tried not to flaunt that because, you know, he had more gas than the neighbors did, but he needed it for the dozens of people right. he, he had employed. Um, so it's a, that times like that is where you realize that as a society, there are times where it, someone deems it for the good of society right. that something like that can happen. Right. So it's interesting this whole thing about licensing and you know what do you own and what don't you own. Well, and I own this pipe. Do you? And <laughs> no one can take and, it from me. And hey. <laughs> and uh, but it's yeah and and so while the FDA thing is is absolutely frustrating. Um, I, to a certain degree, find it even more frustrating that we're in a position now because we're we're in a position where we're beholden to uh, five, ten corporations, companies that we're all sucked into, tied into. Right? If if Google shuts down, um, I'm in trouble. All of my stuff is there. They have all of my emails. They have you know uh, all of my stuff. Um, Amazon, I rely on them a ton, and and so you know I, I think it's um, it's good to stay informed about what these companies are doing, and really make the decision of how deep into their ecosystem do you want to do you want to to put your life because it's easy to be comfortable to just not worry about it until they shut your website down because you've said something that some people don't like. Speaking, speaking of, of Amazon. They take your pipe. Interesting story. Hey. Um, I have a, a really nice trimmer that I use on my, my Van Dyke here. And it has a number of little combs that you can put on it. And apparently I had taken one of them off and was doing something. And that comb that I used for my face disappeared. Mm. It got, got thrown away or who knows what happened to it. It's gone. And I really like that. It's a, it's a nice, um, I think it's a Norelco. And I went looking and well, that model's no longer made. And even on eBay, when they do come up for sale used or even being parted out by people, yeah. apparently it was a really popular design because, man, they go for crazy prices. So I was in the process of looking for a new one of these trimmers and had mentioned a boy a while back that I was looking for one. And I had one saved in a shopping list on Amazon. And I think it was 40 bucks. And so I hadn't pulled the trigger on it yet because I'm, I'm getting by with the one I have. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm using the trimmer that's normally done for hair. Mm -hmm. 
and it's just not 100% effective, not half. right? Um, and Boy sends me a, a Voxer message saying, hey, if you didn't catch this, Amazon's uh, special today is this trimmer that I have really enjoyed and, and I've found quite effective, and it's half price. So I went and checked and didn't, I don't think I told you this, it's the one that I had in my shopping ah. list. So I, I ordered it, it's half price, great, 20 bucks. I was expecting it to show up, but it wasn't showing up. And uh, just as I was about to go check, I get a message from Amazon saying that my payment had not gone through. How did my payment not go through? Well, it turns out our primary charge there is a PayPal card. And my wife had lost her mm. PayPal card, and so when she reported hers lost, it shut both of ours down. And now we're slowly but surely finding out all the things that I had associated with That's that. It's the worst. <laughs> so all of my GoDaddy and all of my names cheap URLs, I lost a URL. Really? And thank goodness there was a grace period. Yeah. But it was because it was... You to pay 80 bucks to catch it back. No, I caught it fast enough that no, I didn't have to. But they sent me a message saying, this is expired and you've got seven days or something like that. Yeah. And... Um, but not unlike what you're talking about, to suddenly have a, a, a number of things in your life that you thought were taken care of. You thought it was all lined up, yeah. that these payments were going to be made on time, and then they're coming in in dribs and drabs that, oh, that was also hmm. connected hmm. to that. I mean, I probably have some annual subscriptions and things, Fine Woodworking mm -hmm. Magazine and others that will probably, I need to go and research and see, yeah. What card did I use for that? Well, what if that was a provider like Amazon, or um, what if PayPal mm -hmm. decides to go out of business, mm -hmm. or something like or, that? Or or Facebook or YouTube. I mean, I don't keep copies. I don't keep backups of photos. Oh yeah, they go straight to Facebook, um, and that's it. And so Facebook shuts down if they just announce, or if my account gets deleted somehow, um, it's gone. It's you know, gone. Google but Equifax, has, the Equifax hack yeah, is yeah. another example. Half of the United States um, uh, private uh, social security name, um, credit card information leaked. Someone, yeah. someone, someone has half of our viewers. Someone has one of of ours um, information, social security number, name. That's that's insane. Yeah. I had the same thing happen, but uh, it was through another company, not Amazon. You know what they did? They said, um, your payment didn't go through, and so we just canceled your order. <laughs> of course, it was by a the promotion. time it was canceled, that's correct. The yeah. price had gone up. Well, how convenient. I know, right? You know what happened? What? I decided at that point uh, to rethink my decision. I didn't buy it. <laughs> They lost a sale. Yeah. If they just sent an email, your card didn't go through, do you have another form of payment, I would have paid. Yeah, they would have made a sale. Yep. Oh, well. All right, well, I think we're going to wrap this up. Guys, thanks again for spending time with us. We really enjoy it. Leave us a comment. What did you think of that? Sometime we'll do a blind taste test because I didn't like it better than 1Q. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do a blind, a blind smoke test. Interesting. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but for now, um, if you have uh, if you have an interest in sending tobacco for Tobacco Advent and want to get a cornament of your own, please send uh, the tobacco to the address down in the description below. Maximum of two. That's right. We may not use them both. Feel free to send more tobacco if you have it, but we will use two unless we run out and are desperate. <laughs> we just happened. That's right. All right. Make it a great week. See you next week. See ya.